The NTW-20 is a South African anti-materiel rifle or large-caliber sniper rifle, developed by Denel Mechum in the 1990s. It is intended for deployment against targets including parked aircraft, telecommunication masts, power lines, missile sites, radar installations, refineries, satellite dishes, gun emplacements, bunkers and personnel, using a range of specialized projectiles. As with other weapons of this type, it can also be used for counter-sniping and ordnance disposal. Development The weapon was designed by Tony Neo for TOU. Development of the system began in August 1995 under the Aerotk name and a working prototype was ready for testing four and a half months later. This rapid progress was made possible by Neo Fatou's expertise in the field of recoil reduction systems, having worked on helicopter turrets in the past. In order to further reduce the amount of research and development, the project recycled the barrel, bolt and barrel extension of the existing Vector GA-1 automatic cannon. It was put into production by Denel Land Systems in two versions, 20X110 and 20X82. The latter model is also available in 14.5x114 and conversion between the calibers can be done in the field by swapping the barrel and bolt assembly. The significantly larger 20x110 model cannot be converted to another caliber. The rifle was accepted into service with the South African National Defense Force in 1998. Features, the NTW 20-14.5 is one of the few firearms in existence that allow the changing of the caliber without completely disassembling and reworking the weapon. Switching between the two calibers of the NTW requires changing the bolt, barrel, sighting gear and magazine. Caliber switching the NTW 20-14.5 can be accomplished in the field without specialized tools. The magazine protrudes from the left side of the receiver. The NTW can be disassembled and packed into two backpacks for carriage. A muzzle brake is fitted on the end of the barrel which absorbs an estimated 50%-60% of recoil. This is further supplemented by a buffered slide in the receiver. Variants Influence Denel Land Systems was contracted to supply weapon systems for the Indian Armed Forces, including anti-materiel rifles and self-propelled howitzers. However, following allegations that it had paid kickbacks to secure a deal for anti-materiel rifles, Denel was blacklisted by the government. Subsequently, the Ordnance Factory Tiruchirappalli, in association with the Defense Research and Development Organization, began developing an indigenous anti-material rifle called Vidonsuk, which borrowed heavily from the Denel NTW-20. The development of Vidonsuk was completed in November 2005. See also, Vidonsuk, RT-20, Travelo Sniper Rifles. References Bibliography, Kokalis, Peter. Weapons Tests and Evaluations, The Best of Soldier of Fortune. Boulder, Colorado, Paladin Press. ISBN 978-1-58160-122-0. External links, NTW-20 Anti-Materiel Rifle 20x 82mm, NTW-20 Anti-Materiel Rifle 20x 110mm HS, Modern Firearms Page.